What's up guys, this is your boy GD Warrior and today I'm gonna show you how to change your oil on your Yamaha Roadster Warrior. So before we get started, let me show you first what kind of tools you need. You're gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench I like to have a long one and a short one for the front. You know, if your bike sits very low with, let's say, um, PCS lowering links, stuff like that, you might have trouble getting the long one underneath there unless, you know, you lift your bike somewhere, somehow. If you don't have the K&N filter, which has the 17 millimeter nut on the filter, you're gonna need some kind of tool to take the filter off, okay? Funnel, obviously. You're gonna have two 17 millimeter uh, bolts in two spots, and I'm gonna show you where. Remember, you need one to two oil uh, drain uh, pans. I already drained my oil, but I'm gonna show you where the where the bolt goes. So this is where it goes. Let me show you the front now. So. You see the forward controls here and everything, so when you look at inside, you see that? Right there is the plug. Okay. Let me let's get out underneath it so you can see it better. Here's the plug. All right, this one has to be taken out. And, and the oil filter, obviously. So you're gonna take these three out and let your oil drip. All right, guys, now it's time to fill up the bike with oil. So uh, what we're gonna do now, first we wanna check the, those two plugs that you took out, that they are back in, okay? Don't fill your oil in when those two plugs are not fucking in. <laughs> it will always it, it will fucking spill all over the floor okay so you don't want to do that make sure they are fucking tightened and don't tighten them too much because you might be stripping them next time when you uh, put oil in uh, first of all let's put the fucking filter on what we got here I, I used to use a KNN filter um, I decided to try out this time the M soil filter so uh, I bought my M soil oil I also got their filter and uh, what we also need is use my M soil 20W50 and what we're gonna do is you open it up before you put, put the filter on you're gonna dip your finger in there oh, not too much and then you are going to slide it over the seal put it on next time you take it off it's easier to take it out screw this fucker in there and all you do is on the warrior you are only going to hand screw it in you are not going to um, use any force there or anything hand tight is fine there we go that's all you gotta do all right guys so the next step is to fill the bike with oil and this is how you do it first uh, lay some towels around just in case you spill some oil on the bike. You know, you don't want to do that. Um, put your funnel in there. And then you take your liquid gold, your creme de la creme <laughs> of motorcycle oil, the Amsol V-Twin 20W50. And you're going to pour in two and a half quarts first. Okay. Dude, this really looks like liquid gold. Look how clear it is. Looks sweet. Okay, this was one. You get one quart per bottle. And one bottle is around what, 13 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. Okay, this is two quarts. Now let's take our third one. And from this one, we're only going to pour half of it in, alright? A little bit more. All right. What the fuck? What do you want here? Get the fuck out. 
flying in my garage randomly. All right. Okay, because we don't want to overfill the oil right now. And we're gonna um, make the engine run so it spreads all in within the engine. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the bike. That'll idle for a little bit, rev it two, three times, and then we'll turn it off. Pour in the rest. So let's take our bottle. So our bikes they take around 4.5 quarts of oil. Let's give it a little more, a bit more squeeze here. There we go. A little shot of the liquid gold. And put the dipstick back in. Let's start the engine one more time. And this was the oil change so uh, thanks for watching if this video was of any value to you hit the like and subscribe button like always and uh, see you guys next time it's your boy GD warrior